Ahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ve sta'inu bi sabri ve salah Ve innaha lekebiretun illa alel hafi'in Allazine yazunnuna annahum mulaqu rabbihim ve annahum ileyhi raci'un Dear viewers Assalamu alaikum ve rahmetullahi ve berekatuhu. I Dr. Sifatullah Khan, Associate Professor, University of Malakand, address you regarding the preaching of the Holy Quran, that is Tablighul Quran. Now I recite it verse number 45 and 46, Surah Al-Baqarah, para number 1. Now we are going to discuss the meanings of these two verses in English language and then we will describe the tafsir or commentary of these two verses. So, ayet number, translation of uh, ayat number 45 in English language. And seek help in passions and as-salat, that is prayers. And truly, it is extremely heavy and hard, except for al-khashi'oon, that is the true believers in Allah. Khashi'oon mean? Hashun means the true believers in Allah, that is those who obey Allah with full submission, fear much from his punishment, and believe in his promise, that is paradise, Jannat, and his warnings, that is hell, Dozakh. Now ayat number, translation of ayat number 46, Surah Al-Baqarah. They are those That is, they are those means, that is, Al-Khashun, they are the people. In this ayah, uh, the qualities or attributes of uh, those people, Khashun, are described. So, uh, the meanings are, meanings of this ayah, they are those who are certain that they are going to meet their Lord, that is, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that to Him, they are going to return. Now coming towards uh, tafsir or commentary of these two verses. So first of all, commentary on uh, uh, 45 and uh, verse number 45. Uh, Mufassirin has described that in these two verses, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes three principles for strengthening faith, that is Iman. Three principles for strengthening Iman have been discussed, have been described by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these two verses. These three principles are, number one, patience, sabr. We will discuss later on that these passions uh, are further described or further um, explained in three different meanings. In general, passions uh, means persistence in doing good deeds, stick firmly to Tawheed and adherence to, re- and adherence to the religion Islam. This is the first principle, that is sabr. Second principle is uh, be ready be ready at all times to follow every command of Islam. You should be ready every time for every command of Islam. For example, praying at the time of prayer, Likewise, fasting in the month of Ramadan 
and paying zakat, performing hajj, etc. The third principle is preparing for the akhirah, preparing for the hereafter. Akhirat, life after death. You should prepare yourself for the hereafter. That is preparing for death before death. That is preparing for the hereafter in light of the Holy Quran and Sunnah rather than in your own self-made way. It means that you should prepare for the hereafter but it should be in the light of Quran and Sunnah. If you are preparing for the hereafter according to your own self-made way that is bid'ah so self-made way is not, is not acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the preparations the preparation for the akhira must be in accordance in light of the holy quran and sunnah so these are the three principles that have been described by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these two verses first one principle is patience Second principles, be ready at all times for every command of Islam. And the third one, preparing for the hereafter. Now coming towards uh, the commentary on tafsir on verse number 45. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِسْوَبْرِ وَاسْوَلَا That is, it means that ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help through patience and prayer this means that Allah's help will be with you when you firmly follow the religion of Islam passions means persistence and there are three types of passions and if sabers have sabr are passions have three types number one to endeavor are to bear or to tolerate sufferings for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second type of sabr is to refrain from sins. And third type of uh, sabr or passions is uh, to follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the uh, next, uh, in the uh, remaining uh, part of this verse, وَإِنَّهُ لَكَبِيرَةٌ From here, uh, it, this uh, means that indeed it is difficult task. Passions uh, is difficult task. But it is not difficult for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who fear Allah have two attributes, have two qualities which are mentioned in the next verse that is uh, verse number 46. In 46 uh, verse Allah Zununa it means the people who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those who have firm belief who have firm belief to meet their Lord on the day of judgment وَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ means this is the second attribute is mentioned first one is mentioned that uh, they will firm believe to meet their Lord and the second uh, attribute of uh, those people who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, indeed and indeed they will return to Allah through death that is to remember death often to remember death often because it eliminates all worldly desires or it controls all worldly desires such as love of status and love of wealth hubbeja and hubbemal are controlled by the remembrance of death in the daily life in our practical life a remembrance of death is like works just or functions just like car brakes are like reins of a horse 
which are used to control speed. Similarly, remembrance of death in our lives, it prevents us, it prevents our own self, it prevents our self, it prevents one it prevents oneself from all evils and controls worldly desires. Wama alayna illa al